Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 28 of the Autodesk Maya 2017 training series. So today we're going to learn about camera and its options. So uh, creating a camera uh, inside of Maya is quite easy and controlling it is quite easy as well. So uh, just as, an, as a reference, I'm going to create a plain object and so just cubes uh, to see how the camera works. So how the camera works is basically right now, this is using something called a default camera. So uh, this is working as a camera right now as well. So in order to create a camera, I have to go to create and inside here, I got camera. So here I got the basic camera and once I create camera, you can see that there's a camera over here. So the viewfinder here actually sees what is there as an object over there. So now, uh, this is the regular camera. There are actually three types of camera. So if you were to go into uh, create camera and camera and aim. So what it does is it actually has a camera but with an aim. So it's basically the same camera but with an aim on where it should look. Okay. So then the third option here is you can go to uh, create camera and camera aim in app. So this is again the same type of camera but with a tilt feature right here, but with a rotation feature for the camera as well. So how does the camera work? How do I see it? All right, so let's see it. I got three type of cameras. So if I want to see through this camera, then I can simply go to panel, perspective, camera one, two, three. So this is the first camera that I created. I just go into camera and go to camera one. Uh, just to just clarify, so let's go to create camera. There's stereo camera, uh, which is actually for 3D movies and there's stereo camera rig which is for 3D movies as well but we are just focusing on these three cameras right now so if I want to see through this camera right here what I want to do is I want to go into um, panels over here go to perspective and camera one so now what I'm doing is I'm actually seeing through the camera so I'm gonna have two viewports right here and let's use this viewport as a perspective viewport. So press space, right click, and go to single perspective. Or just click this right here. Uh, I just wanna go for perspective on this part. So I'm gonna go for perspective for this part. So this is the default camera view. And for this one, I'm gonna go into camera one. So now over here, you can see that the camera is actually located here. So if I were to move back, the camera is moving back. And if I were to move here, the camera is actually moving here. So just like you control the viewfinder, uh, you can control the camera, just like that. So if I were to see through, uh, let's go perspective camera two, then I can actually do this but it is based on the target point right here so i can actually control the target point let's say i got the target point right here so i can move this in order to move the uh, seeing position of the camera so this can be animated as well same goes for this one so the third one is the one with the tilt so if i were to go to camera three you can see that there's a tilt so on the camera three over here so if i were to move this to the right so let's just uh, zoom this in, uh, just drag it to the right. You can see that I can actually rotate the camera over here and I can add in keyframes to this, which is the cool part about it. So now to add in keyframes to this, so let's add in a zoom in. So uh, in order to add in a zoom in feature, I can just press S for the camera and over here, I can actually just zoom in and press S. So now uh, there's actually a camera animation just like this. So let me just add in um, camera animation to this as well. So this is the viewpoint point. So I'm just going to press S and over here, I'm going to move this to the side just like this and at the bottom just like this. So you can see that I got this type of an animation now. So where the camera is actually zooming in and the view area is changing as well. So I can also add in tilt animation so i'm gonna press s and i'm gonna press s so if you were to use the other camera then you simply uh just move the other parts around and that's how you do the camera animation just like that all right so this is how you do a simple camera animation uh inside of maya and this is pretty useful for uh producing uh, dynamic effects inside of Maya. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe